Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do something a little different. Instead of a tutorial, I thought we'd do a little lip swatch video. I recently bought a bunch of collection brand lipsticks, so I thought I would swatch all the different colors I have for you and tell you a little bit about what I like about them. So I will wipe off this lip color and we'll get to the swatching. The first shade that we have is number 22. It's called Cafe Olay, as in French. And it's a lovely nude. We're gonna go from lightest to darkest. So this is the first shade. This is what the color looks like. You can see it's a lovely pale pink tone nude. Really great for when you've got a bold eye going on and you just want something simple on the lips. Then we have number 21. The shade is called Rosewood. Another nude, but a little bit deeper. Here is the color on. As you can see, still nice and neutral, but a lovely sort of pop. So that is the shade Rosewood. Next up is number nine, China Rose. This one's a lovely pink, rosy, sort of muted but bold color. The next shade is number two, Pretty in Peach. As you can see, this shade is a lovely bold peachy orange and a pink to this one as well I love a good peach really summery and fresh then we have the shade number 16 paper rose Now, as you can see, this one is a matte color, so it has a different finish. It is a bright pink, which I think really makes my blue eyes pop. This is the first of the mattes. It is Paper Rose. Then we have the shade number six, Cupcake Pink. This is pink. <laughs> it's your true sort of Barbie pink shade. Cupcake pink. Stop and did a little lip scrub because the lips were getting a little bit dried out after wiping off all those different lipsticks. So I use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub in the flavor Strawberry Gum. And I've had this for ages and looks like I've hardly used it because this container lasts you forever. So if you love a good lip scrub, his ones are really long lasting and also really yummy. Then we have the shade number eight, Mulberry Burst. So this is the color, it's a sort of plummy purple. We have the shade number 19, Red Carpet. So this is the shade Red Carpet, it is also a matte. This kind of red is flattering on most skin tones because of the blue base. Makes your teeth look lighter as well, which we always like. So yeah, that is the shade Red Carpet. And then our lucky last shade is number 10, Fig Delight. This is the 
shade Fig Delight. It's sort of a really brown, ochre colour. Really nice, almost kind of like you consider it a deep nude because it's quite neutral. So I thought I'd finish up with, I think my favorite color with this look, um, which is the shade China Rose, just because it matches my top, and discuss my thoughts on the lipsticks. So they retail for $12 in New Zealand. Um, you can buy them from Countdown Supermarket and some other places. I'll put that in the info below. Um, but my thoughts on the lipsticks are I really like their regular cream finish lipsticks like this one. They're really soft, comfy to wear, easy glide on color, really opaque. The mattes I have a little bit of a problem with just because they do feel quite drying and they do sort of tug on the lip a little bit as you glide it on but that is also because I have quite dry lips so that doesn't help. So my favourite shades are Paper Rose, the one I've got on at the moment, and Rosewood which th was the second nude that we looked at. I'm a big fan of nudes at the moment because then you can kind of do anything you want on your eye makeup so they're really fun to play around with and chuck a gloss on top and you're good to go. So yeah, highly recommend giving them a look. This is what doing a lipstick swatch video looks like. And now I'm gonna go soak my lips in lip balm because they hurt. <laughs>